What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Star Wars Battlefront, a game that I actually really like uh, for what it is. And we're going to talk about some of the issues that came with this game. Now if you guys remember when Star Wars Battlefront actually, actually released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the big debacle about the game and EA was that the game launched without any real single player. Now some people might say there's a single player. It's a very light tacked on horde mode which some people would call single player but for me that is not single player at all as someone who enjoyed knights of the old republic and many star wars games in my lifetime star wars is centered around story and character and so for me playing star wars battlefront without any real single player or reason to invest in the characters left the game feeling a little hollow to me so it's been a while since this game actually released and now we're finally getting details as to why this game released without a single player campaign and i will put a link in the description EA scrapped Star Wars Battlefront's campaign in order to meet The Force Awakens premiere. EA chose not to include a campaign mode in Star Wars Battlefront in order to save time and meet Force Awakens launch day. Patrick Soderlund, EA Studios boss, explained at EA's Investor's Day that Battlefront's campaign needed to be cut out in order to ship the game in time for Star Wars The Force Awakens launch. This decision made sense sales-wise, but critically it was not received very well, landing at 72 on Metacritic, the Xbox One version landed at 75. Sunderland explained, quote, The one thing that we got criticized for was a lack of a single player campaign. It was a conscious decision we made due to the time and being able to launch the game side by side with the movie that came out to get the strongest possible impact. I think the team created a really good game based on the premise that we had. I would say that the game has done very well for us and reached a very different demographic than a traditional EA game. So from that perspective, it's a success. Are we happy with a 75 rating? No. Is that something we're going to cure going forward? Absolutely, end quote. This is the first time that EA has explained Battlefront's lack of single player content. Most players expect a single player campaign in their games. Even Star Wars lead John Boyega was surprised that it wasn't included. EA is working on building a new Battlefront game for 2017, most likely containing a single player campaign this time around. This is one of the sad stories in gaming. I mean, we know that game companies, publishers have to deal with investors, they have to deal with timing, and this here, even though I love the Star Wars Force Awakens film, I would have much rather preferred them to hold this game to uh, craft a, a compelling single player campaign, or at least partly compelling single player campaign, something for people who don't like just to get into the competitive multiplayer arena. Uh, you know, it's just one of those situations. The game sold gangbusters. It did extremely well on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, and it's just kind of a sucky story that they wanted to release it in time for the film. I think that uh, going forward, definitely now, we know there's at least two more Star Wars third-person adventure games being crafted right now. Uh, so that's going to be very heavy in story. And at least now going forward with the new Battlefront game, they're going to have some type of single-player campaign shipping with the game. So now we got the information, now we understand why, and hopefully these developers and publishers can find a way around that in the future because the game got a 75 Metacritic uh, and it didn't even have a single player campaign. A lot of games with multiplayer and campaigns get a lot lower on Metacritic, so this game would have done really, really well if they had just crafted some type of single player engaging content. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like Star Wars Battlefront? Is it a game that you enjoyed? Did you mind not having any single player campaign? Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go, pay my body go, take our bodies higher and higher.